I am going to tell about SAP EWM interview questions and answers. Let's start. All the best. Questions number one, what is SAP EWM Extended Warehouse Management? So, SAP Extended Warehouse Management, EWM, is used to efficiently manage inventory in the warehouse and for supporting processing of goods movement. It allows the company to control their warehouse inbound and outbound processes and movement of goods in the warehouse. Questions number two, how is SAP EWM different from SAP Warehouse Management? So, SAP EWM. SAP EWM is part of SAP supply chain management like warehouse management system, but provides more robust and advanced features to manage key activities in warehouse. SAP Warehouse. SAP Extended Warehouse Management EWM is similar to warehouse management, but it provides more features like picking, put away, RF framework, warehouse structure, and more flexible options to manage warehouse functions. Questions number three, what is the SAP EWM system? So, SAP EWM is part of SAP Supply Chain Management, SAP SCM, and supports inventory management and movement of goods in warehouses. The multi-client warehouse management solution was designed for large distribution centers with complex and highly automated processes. Questions number four, is SAP EWM good? So, the best-of-breed warehouse solutions score well in high-throughput, standalone, automated, specialist operations, where high performance is critical. In contrast, SAP EWM scores well where there is a need for a high level of integration between the warehouse, production, quality control, and transport. Questions number 5. What are the key features in SAP Warehouse Management? So. Using SAP EWM, you can control warehouse activities, picking, posting, and managing storage bins, and good receipts. You can set alert for changed data before goods receipt from EWM to the ERP system, reversal or correction of the goods receipt from EWM to the ERP system and an inbound delivery split from EWM to the ERP system. Questions number 6. What are the different deployment options in EWM? So, SAP EWM can be considered as deployed in ERP server, or you can also consider it as an application in supply chain management landscape. SAP EWM is integrated with ERP to access transaction and master data and use of features like slotting. Availability check also requires integration with CRM. Questions number seven, what is planned replenishment and order replenishment? So, planned replenishment. Plant replenishment can be performed either interactively or in the background. The system calculates the replenishment in accordance with the defined minimum quantity and maximum quantity. Order-related replenishment. Order-related replenishment is performed when the stock figure is less than required quantity. The system rounds up the replenishment quantity to a multiple of minimum replenishment quantity. Questions number 8. What is the SAP EWM combination with SAP S-4? So, as it currently stands, basic embedded EWM functionality is available to anyone with an SAP S-4 HANA license, with advanced features available via an additional license. Clients may choose embedded EWM for a host of reasons. For small to mid-sized customers, the basic functionality may be enough for their needs. Questions number 9. What is automatic and direct replenishment? So, automatic replenishment. The system starts automatic replenishment when a warehouse task is confirmed. Replenishment is calculated as per maximum and minimum activity. Direct replenishment. Direct replenishment is started during a pick denial and is only possible for fixed bin scenarios. The system calculates replenishment as per maximum and minimum quantity. Questions number 10. What are the structure elements in warehouse management? So, warehouse consists of following elements in hierarchical structure, minus warehouse number, storage type, storage section, storage bin, activity area. Questions number 11. What is a work center in a warehouse? So, 
A work center in warehouse is assigned to a storage type and a physical unit to perform packing, deconsolidation, or weighing activities. Storage type assigned to the work center has a role of work center, pick point or pick point and identification. You can also configure more than a work center in a storage type. Questions number 12. Where do you use work centers in warehouse processes? So, work center can be used for the following processes, minus packing, deconsolidation, counting, quality check. Questions number 13. Define the basic settings for SAP EWM. So, Enterprise Structure Assignment, Logistics Execution, Assign Warehouse Number to Plant Slash Storage Location. Customizing Path, Logistics Execution, Extended Warehouse Management Integration, Basic Setup of Connectivity, Configure SAP EWM Specific Parameters. Questions number 14, How can you create a work center for packing in the SAP EWM system? So, to create a work center for packing, you need information, minus, Warehouse Storage Type Inbound Section Outbound Section Questions Number 15 What is direct and indirect labor? So Direct This includes time to perform warehouse activities like picking, packing, put away, etc. Indirect labor This includes extra activities to manage warehouse like sweeping, cleaning, housekeeping, etc. Questions number 16, what are different warehouse process types in SAP EWM system? So, there are different warehouse process categories that are predefined in EWM system, minus stock removal, put away, internal movement, goods receipt posting, goods issue posting, physical inventory. Questions number 17, what are the different components in a value added order? So, a value-added services order consists of the following components, minus Order header VAS activities to be performed Items Auxiliary products, packing material, labels, oil, etc. Questions number 18, how do you perform direct goods issue in SAP EWM system? So, the goods issue process in extended warehouse management starts with outbound delivery requests. When an outbound delivery document is created, this process starts in the ERP system. For items that are relevant in EWM, delivery documents are replicated in the SAP EWM system. Questions number 19 What do you understand by stock removal strategy? So, Stock removal strategy is a method of determining storage bins for one or more products to be picked. You can customize the stock removal rule definition table in customizing for SCM extended warehouse management. Questions number 20. What are the transaction available? So, LT01. Create transfer order without source object. Transaction code LT01. LT10. Create transfer order from stock list, transaction code LT10. Thanks for watching. We are here to boost your career.